I should have cleaned up my whole room. I didn't, oh, I got an email. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and today we're going to be going over my home altar, which is right here. We're gonna zoom in on it. We're going to clean it up, make it nice and show you how all of my Catholic artwork, everything, it's not artwork, right? It's not for decoration. These are things I use to pray with and I, I love it. I have collected quite a few things over the years. I also have some things over by my bedside. We'll go over that as well. So I'm just really excited to show you guys how I can make my apartment holy again just by simply having a little space to create a shrine where I can use it to worship God, practice my faith, even in this small apartment, even as a single person, you know, a little about me. My name is Catherine. I am 28 years old. I live in Northern New Jersey and I am a Catholic and I just, I love my faith. I love talking about my faith. I like to consider it the biggest part of my identity. And the point of this series, Make My Apartment Holy Again, I release these videos every Thursday and it's all about just putting God at the center of my life. I, I just wanna be holy. I wanna make my apartment holy. So a huge part of that is with your home altar. So I don't want anyone to make any kind of excuses. Oh no, I live in an apartment. I have no room. All right, you just gotta get a few things and I think that will just make you just feel like it's a home and it's an altar for you. All right, so let's get started. Let's go over everything that I have up in that little prayer shrine. I just wanna do it down here so you could see everything and everything would be good and on the up and up. So. This is what I have in my apartment to remind me that I'm Catholic. I love these two icons, oh my goodness. Our Lady of Lourdes, I got this in Lourdes, France. If you have a special devotion to Our Lady, I really think, even if you don't have a special devotion to Our Lady yet, she's our mom, she's our mom, okay you guys? It's in the Bible, Protestants, you can come at me all you want that she was just some Jewish woman who had other children, which by the way she didn't, she, oh my goodness. And that's also, um, we're getting into it, we're getting into it, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna keep it together have an icon of Our Lady. Sticking with Lourdes, um, this is holy water that I got in Lourdes. I think it's super important to have holy water in your apartment, especially by your shrine, because you know, it's where you go, you see the icons, you wanna bless yourself. I highly recommend getting a spray bottle. So this is from Lourdes, so you know, this is kind of special because it's not just holy water I got from the church or that I had a priest friend bless. This is water from Lourdes. So what I like to do when I'm feeling sick or when I just don't have anxiety or I'm just, I really wanna bless myself, what I do is I spray just a tiny amount of water and I can bless myself. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Lord, please help me to create a beautiful prayer altar that just gives you glory and honor. And please let whoever's watching this video be able to create their own prayer altar, whether it be in their home, in their apartment, wherever they are, please help them to create a little space for you or a big space for you so that they can just honor you. Amen. Can't see my brick necklace. Next, we're going to talk about one of my other favorite icons. I got this in Lusia, France. Um, it's the whole Martin family, which is St. Therese's family and her parents who are also saints. They had some children that unfortunately did not make it to adulthood, so they are featured on here as well as including her sisters. And her, th this was just the most amazing family, you guys. Highly recommend that if you have a favorite saint, have some kind of way to honor them on your prayer altar. So this is how I honor St. Therese and her family. So I have a little box. It has a rosary in it. I don't usually use this rosary, that's why I keep it in this box. But I do have some other um, medals. These holy medals, you know, so I had just so many people give me miraculous medals and I don't know what to do with them because I have so many, so I keep them here in this box. And uh, I love it. It's just a nice little place to keep sacred things sacred. Same thing with this, another little box that says Jerusalem on there. Keep sacred things sacred. I have an Our Lady of Guadalupe. You guys know I love her. I have another one on my desk, but just, you can't have enough of Our Lady. You can't. People who say, no, don't make your devotion to Our Lady so great. Your devotion needs to be to Jesus. It is impossible, okay? Us humans, it is impossible for us to love Mary more than Jesus loved her. Okay? Do not be afraid of loving Mary too much. Jesus loved her more than you'll ever love her. So don't worry. Blessed Padre Pro. He is not yet a saint. I got this in Mexico City on a pilgrimage. Guys, if you haven't been on pilgrimage, by the way, definitely go on one. I know I talked about it a lot in my other video. I'll link it here about how much a pilgrimage really had an effect on me. Blessed Padre Pro um, was murdered 
for his faith. He was martyred. And this is a relic of his included in there. So this I really love when I am super flippin' sad or heartbroken or something. You guys know I talk about breakups a lot. I have held this to my chest asking for pain to be healed or anything like that. So, you know, relics can work miracles. So I definitely recommend uh, holy cards to your saints. And this is this is not a like a first class relic. This is not, you know, a piece of his bone or something. This is a fiber from his clothing. So if you can get a second or third class relic, highly recommend you have that to honor the saints and to recognize that the saints are people to pray to in order to intercede for you for Jesus. I love this image of Our Lady. So these, I have a lot of images here. I love these. I think they're so beautiful. Um, these are kind of big holy cards. So I don't, I have a special container for holy cards. I'll talk about that in another video when I start doing my prayer reset. I like to keep these on my altar just sitting on there. I love this. I love this crucifix. And I have my normal crucifix that I bought at a sale, at a church sale from people in Jerusalem. Uh, I can't wait. I'm going to the Holy Land in a couple, in 10 days, you guys. I'm going to the Holy Land. I'll definitely be posting a vlog and everything for that too. But oh my gosh, I can't wait to like actually go and, and be able to, I know, shop for stuff in the Holy Land itself and also see the Holy Land. I mean, I'm, I'm so excited. I have this beautiful rosary. I have so many rosary guys, so I won't show them all, but this rosary is the newest one I've gotten. I think it's so beautiful. I like to hold it like this when I'm walking with it. It's not a bracelet, okay? It's not jewelry or anything like that, but this is how I like to hold it when I'm walking with it. It's a reform bracelet from West Coast Catholic. I'll link it down below because I think it is so beautiful and it's heavy. I really wanted a white rosary that had actual stones and was heavy and I just, I love this rosary. I have St. Joseph. I want to get a more handsome statue. This was a gift someone gave to me. And I, I like it because I love St. Joseph, but I want a, a prettier statue of him. I have St. Therese again. She's the best. I love this statue. I have another rosary. This one smells funny. It's a Pope John Paul II rosary. I actually got it while he was still Pope. Someone gave it to me. And it smells because they made it out of, you know, flowers they made it out of flowers it's super common um i don't like this rosary as much because the beads are really small but of course hold on to it just in case i don't know a bunch of people come over to my house and they want to all pray the rosary together i got plenty of rosaries so this i keep by my bed i keep this by my bed in case i want to do lexio divina before bed i keep this by my bed as well this is where i keep all of my youtube ideas so that's there separate from that is my jesus journal um, yeah, keep that by my bed as well. And then this is what I'm currently reading. It's really good. It's called Peace of Soul by Fulton J. Sheen, by Archbishop Fulton Sheen. Uh, I really wanted to read something by Fulton Sheen because he is one of the two patron saints for this channel. He is not a saint yet, and neither is the other person who's my patron saint for this channel. Mother Angelica and Fulton Sheen are the two patron saints of this channel. Even though they're not saints yet, I believe they are saints. They are so close. I mean... Fulton Sheen, especially, he's so close in the process to becoming a saint. I think it's safe. I think it's safe to use him as my intercessor. And then Mother Angelica, um, she's not, they haven't even started anything for her, her to become a saint, but she just had such an impact on the world and evangelizing people through television that how, how could she not be one of my patron saints for this chant? Another thing got to include in your prayer altar is Jesus, a little statue of Jesus. This is made out of olive wood and it was made in Bethlehem and I got it at a church sale and I absolutely love it. It was kind of expensive, <laughs> but I love it and it's beautiful and I can't believe that there are still Catholics in Bethlehem. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, if you guys know, I have a special devotion also. I have really my special devotions to Mary are Lourdes, uh, Mount Carmel and Guadalupe. These are my three Marian apparitions that hold very special places in my heart and I recommend, I recommend having at least a statue of Mary as well. I have a little statue, or uh, it's not really a statue, more like a figurine of um, my guardian angel. I used to keep this by my bed every single night when I was a baby, or when I was a child, really. And I would get scared. I was a very nervous, very shy child. And when I would get scared, I would sleep with this in my bed. And, you know, this is so tiny. I can't believe I never lost her. So, you know, her, you know, him, whatever, angels. I just, I love my guardian angel and you should too.
I think that is it for my altar. I'm going to wipe it down, get it all nice and clean, and then put everything back and show you guys the final product. All right, so here is my beautiful prayer altar all assembled, all nice and cleaned up. And I gotta say, you guys, I absolutely love it. I love that I can be working at my desk, which is right here where I sit, and I can see my prayer altar. I can be lying in my bed and I can see it. I got Jesus over here and we're good to go. Okay, so I gotta ask you guys, do you think I'm missing anything from my prayer altar? Is there anything you think should be there that's not there? Let me know in the comments below and if you could give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss one of my videos, I'll be super grateful. All right, thanks so much you guys. I'll see you next time and how I make my apartment holy again. I think I'm gonna do a little prayer reset for you know the new school year. I've always felt the new school year is more of the beginning of the year than January 1st. That's my personal opinion. Again, these are all my personal opinions. I don't speak for the Catholic Church. I speak for myself, Catholic Catherine. All right, you guys. Bye.